a nuclear power plant in Inner Hadar, Ukraine, has been deemed safe after a fire broke out due to an attack from Russian troops. The director of the plant said that the nuclear safety is now guaranteed, Oleksandr Staruk, governor of Zaporizhzhia Oblast, stated on Thursday, per the Associated Press Twitter account. Earlier on Thursday, the news service reported that the Zaporizhzhia plant, Europe's largest nuclear power plant, was being shelled by Russian troops, which ultimately caused a fire to break out. Dmitro Koleba, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, tweeted Thursday, Russian army is firing from all sides upon Zaporizhzhia NPP, the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. Fire has already broke out. If it blows up, it will be ten times larger than Chernobyl. Russians must immediately cease the fire, allow firefighters, establish a security zone. The Associated Press reported firefighters could not at first get near the fire at Zaporizhzhia to contain the blaze because they were being shot at, Andre Tuz, a plant spokesperson, said. Earlier, security footage from the plant's main gate that was geolocated by NPR showed what looked to be Russian troops advancing at the entrance of the nuclear station. The troops were seemingly engaged in active combat, with footage also showing what appeared to be the fire in one of the plant's administrative buildings. In a statement on Thursday, the International Atomic Energy Agency said Ukraine had informed it of the situation, writing, a large number of Russian tanks and infantry broke through the block post to the town of Enerhodar, a few kilometers from the Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant, NPP, Director General Rafael Mariano Grossi said. In a letter to the Director General, the Ukraine Regulatory Authority said, the battle is going on in the town of Enerhodar and on the road to the ZNPP, Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant, site, adding that the situation was critical. Director General Grossi appealed for an immediate halt to the use of force at Inrhadar and called on the military forces operating there to refrain from violence near the nuclear power plant. He said the IAEA continues to consult with Ukraine and others with a view to provide maximum possible assistance to the country as it seeks to maintain nuclear safety and security in the current difficult circumstances, said the statement from IAEA. The Zaporizhzhia power station in Enerhodar is in the southern central region of Ukraine, on the opposite side of the country from Chernobyl, which is near the capital city of Kyiv. Concerns had been raised last week as to the security of that nuclear site as well, when Russian forces took it over. Russia's attack on Ukraine continues after their forces launched a large-scale invasion on February 24, the first major land conflict in Europe in decades. Details of the fighting changed by the day, but hundreds of civilians have already been reported dead or wounded, including children. More than a million Ukrainians have also fled, the United Nations says. You don't know where to go, where to run, who you have to call. This is just panic, Lilia Marinkak, a 45-year-old teacher in Ivano-Frankivsk, Ukraine, told people of the moment her city was bombed, one of numerous accounts of bombardment by the Russians. The invasion, ordered by Russian President Vladimir Putin, has drawn condemnation around the world and increasingly severe economic sanctions against Russia. With NATO forces massing in the region around Ukraine, various countries have also pledged aid or military support to the resistance. 
Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called for peace talks, so far unsuccessful, while urging his country to fight back. Putin insists Ukraine has historic ties to Russia and he is acting in the best security interests of his country. Zelensky vowed not to bend. Nobody is going to break us, we're strong, we're Ukrainians, he told the European Union in a speech in the early days of the fighting, adding, life will win over death. And light will win over darkness. The Russian attack on Ukraine is an evolving story, with information changing quickly. Follow people's complete coverage of the war here, including stories from citizens on the ground and ways to help.